G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here and welcome to this edition. Now, as we continue to collaborate externally across more and more organizations, whether that be around projects or initiatives or events or things like that, you're gonna be, become part of many, or potentially many different organizations as guests. So how do we go about managing ourselves, managing uh, leaving those tenants or those organizations when the end of a project or the end of an initiative um, is reached. So there's a special URL that you can use to do this properly. Now, the URL that, I, um, that I'm mentioning here is myaccount.microsoft.com forward slash organizations. And that will give you as an end user the ability to see other organizations that you collaborate with. Not only that, but you can leave those organizations as well. So when you're becoming part or joining other tenants, uh, probably around Microsoft Teams or being invited to Teams to run a project or, or things like that, you'll see that you get all of your organizations listed in a list there. Now you can see here that Deborah is uh, part of the Contoso main tenant, which is her home tenant, but also part of a, or a guest that has been invited into another tenant. Now, as we continue to collaborate, obviously that list could potentially become long, right? So how do we actually go about uh, managing that list? Well, if you navigate to this URL, you can see here, that this is Deborah, uh, and we're at that URL. This or uh, this item here is the the external uh, tenant that Deborah is a or has been invited into. And simply by clicking this leave option, we're taken then to another page, which allows us to then uh, leave that organisation ourselves. All right. So this does take a little bit of time to get reflected across different endpoints, um, but it will allow you to then manage your listing. So you can see here, do you want to leave? Uh, it's going to result in the deletion of your data. Uh, you can, if they do have a privacy statement, read that as well. We click the leave button and then that is going to kick off that process. We're all done. It can take up to 30 minutes, as you can see there, to be reflected on the organization page uh, and also in that Microsoft Teams uh, listing here. So if I jump back into um, this list here, you can see that that still is going to exist for a little bit of time until we're fully removed. Now, we can see also we get a little email notification to say that I have left or I've initiated the leave of that organization as well. So we get that type of, of notification through email as well. So as you do continue to be invited to these organizations, you do have to manage or you can manage the life cycle um, yourself by going to that URL uh, and then leaving organizations when you no longer need access to the information that is part of that initiative or that project. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope that brought you some value and I will see you in the next edition.